In this video, I am going to finally test my electronics, the CD player that I bought and the VCR that I showed you in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it and then come back and watch me make a fool of myself testing these electronics. Okay, so I'm getting ready to test this thing. Just plugged what it in. Is that? Here's my nine year old that doesn't know what the heck this is. That's sad. It's a CD player. And I have all of my CDs from when I was a teenager. Just pull them out. Got all my mixes. Lucy number one, Lucy number four. My car was named Lucy, so these were good mixes for my car. <laughs> Anyways, let's test it out. I plugged it in. I like how the rings light up, so that means it's partially working. Now let's put some CDs in there and see what it does. Alright. I'm not even sure how you do it. Open, close. Okay, what the heck? I'm pushing the open, close button, but it's not doing anything. So that might be some bad news. Um... I really don't even know what is supposed to open, honestly. Ooh. And speakers. I didn't even think about speakers. There's no speakers. Okay. This might have been a bad buy. Like this part is supposed to come down somehow, but I don't know how because I'm hitting open close and it's not doing anything. The lights are flashing and everything and all this, the screen is working. I might seriously have to Google how you open this thing. Okay, one problem is not having speakers. I don't know why I didn't think of that. This is just the power source, so that's going to hurt my value a lot. Um... And we don't have speakers, so I plugged in our Bluetooth speaker into the headphone jack. And it is working, so that's good. I'm going to turn it down just a bit so that I don't have a copyright. Um, part of my problem, I hadn't turned it on before, so I needed to turn it on, but I still don't know how, if I push this open-close button, it's still not doing anything. So I don't know what to do. There's aux, tuner band, so like... Um, we'll skip stations and stuff, like all that's working fine. All the colors keep changing, the screen is working fine. Um, you can do a timer, but I don't know. Like the only thing that I can think of of how it would open is if this were to come down so that you could like put the CDs in it. I even like tried to Google it, but I think it's too old, like nothing is showing. I don't know how you would get a CD in, in there. Like, if I push the button to the CD player... Oh! Ha! I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, there we go. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I had to push the button, and then I'm going to open it. Okay, now let's try it here. Okay, now I'm really embarrassed that that took me so long to do that. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put my CD in. Can you see me? Even in my old trusty case here, I have multiple CDs. Got a little Hillary Duff, huh? Okay, let's close it and press. We're going to play CD1. Woo! Look, it's spinning. All of them are spinning. Good signs. Okay, it's got 20 songs for a total of 76 minutes and 51 seconds. I'm going to press play. Oh, can't hear it, but it is playing. Oh, shoot. If I push the volume up, then it's skipping the songs. So let's see. Maybe you just have to hold it. It was working earlier when I was changing the volume. What the heck? I know you can't hear it, but it is playing music out of my little speaker here. Um, but yeah, there's. this is just the power source, like I said. So let's stop that one and 
for ACD2. Play. Okay, oh no, nope. it's still playing this, so what the heck. Let's see here, how do I do this? Play. I don't want to set the timer, I want to play this CD. Oh. Disc skip. Okay, here we go. So you have to hit disc skip and then it will take you to the second one and you can press. Well, I don't know, every time I hit play right there, it's trying to set the timer. So let's hit play right here. Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, that's good news. Let's stop it again. Stop. We're gonna skip the disc to number three. It's spinning, can you see that? And we're gonna press play. Perfect, good old tunes from my high school days. This is a sad song I'm just playing right now. Okay, I am happy that I figured that out. So now we just need to test the VCR. So clearly I am very much a noob when it comes to testing electronics because this VCR does not have a remote. I didn't even think about a remote in, this, in the store and it didn't have the HDMI cords or whatever these are called. I don't even know. Um, and so I had to go steal these off of my son's TV. So let's hope it works. Okay, I think I have it plugged into my TV, right? Now let's see if this will go in. It's making a noise. Also, my dad is... My dad. My dog is chewing on something in the background. Uh, I guess I need to change the channel on my TV. Hmm. I really stink at this. Um... I don't know how to do this. I have plugged in the cables into the the yellow and white on the VCR. <clears throat> then this is what the back of my TV looks like. So I plugged the cables into the yellow and red right there, which are audio. Um, sorry about my baby screaming in the background. I can't. I don't know if it needs to be a different channel on my TV. I flipped through them all. I. I can't get the sound or the visual to work. The VCR is working. I can hear the VHS in there, like, playing, but I just can't get it to hook up on my TV. So, is this a big deal? Like, um, I've, I've hit rewind. It seems to rewind just fine. I've hit fast forward. It seems to fast forward just fine. Um, when I press play, it seems to, like... It's still making noise pressing by pressing play. If I stop and eject it, it comes out just fine. So, I mean, that leads me to believe that the VHS player works, but, I mean, I can't get it to play on my TV. So, help me. Okay, I'm just going to end the video right here because it's already plenty long. So, um, if you've sold a CD player before or a VHS player, let me know. Was it easy for you to get it working? All of the above. If you like content like this, if you like showing me a haul, showing me hauls, if you like me showing you hauls, please let me know and hit the like button below and consider subscribing. My channel is still small and I have a lot of good things to offer and I have a lot more. My list of YouTube ideas is a mile long, so I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. Bye.